Hello everyone, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. I'm doing another update. I want to give a shout out to Tariq Nasheed um, for this uh, for this tweet that I've just read. He says, suspected white supremacist race soldier Sean Grayson, who was racially executed, Sonia Massey has a toka tattoo on his arm and these sim symbolisms are also associated with the neo-Nazi white supremacist groups. So, so ladies and gentlemen, remember... We, all of us black YouTubers that even talk about this, and I'm going to remind some of you, remember in the FBI issue a memo in 2006 that white supremacist groups will infiltrate police departments all across the country. Now, this story isn't surprising. And it really bothers me. And I, and I did a video yesterday about you know, how Illinois State Police basically released a body cam video of the execution of Sonia Massey. I even even showed it to you yesterday. But it makes two, it put two and two together on why, and, and I'm just saying that, you know, I mean, he, I mean, he just lost his jobs with six police departments. And they still don't know why he lost his jobs with six police departments, right? But it tells you right then and there. And it makes perfect sense of why Sonia Massey is not here. It's not here anymore. And all she said was, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And that's what triggered him. In my opinion, Sean Grayson is a major demon. He's a demon. And it triggers a person when a, or if, if, if you're a Christian, and remember, if you're a Christian, we all believe that those phrases, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, which means if you have an evil in, 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 your, in, in, um, in your soul, and when, when people say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, that's when the demon comes out. That's what Christians believe. But it makes perfect sense when this demon you know, Sean Grayson, when Tariq Nasheed and shots out to him on X, you know, when he made, you know, make this post, when it says a token call tattoos, which is a neo-Nazi um, skinhead tattoo. And you see the skull on the side of, uh, side of his arm. That's what the symbolisms, the symbolisms are. And again, ladies and gentlemen, all the incidents across this country that happened between black men, black women, and black children, I wouldn't even be surprised if the, the officers who were responsible of those unalignments were a part of the white supremacist groups. Because it said in the FBI memo in 2006 that white supremacist groups are infiltrating police departments across America. And a lot of people who try to maybe forget it or, or don't believe that was happening. But look at all the incidents that happened so far. And ladies and gentlemen, it proven time and time again that it's happening. And I'm sorry. If the FBI had a memo about this, why haven't they cracking down? On the white supremacist groups, but we but we all know why. Let's just I, I just don't want to even repeat this. We all know why they're not they're refusing to even crack down these white supremacist groups. But ladies and gentlemen, again, shouts out to Tariq Nasheed with, with his ex you know post when he says what he says that he that, that he got the tattoos of the white supremacist groups, the tattoos called the token cough, which is the neo Nazi skinheads group. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this about this in the comments.